What is up guys? Welcome. Oh shoot. That boy white as hell. Welcome back to another video. And today I was going to make a completely different video today. Like I walked outside preparing to get ready to film the video that I had in mind. But y'all will be seeing that pretty soon. I have a barrel out here that I'm going to turn into like a little fire pit. But I walked out here. I walked over here towards the barrel. And like I was like getting ready to like, you know, get it out and get ready to film the different video. And that is when I looked down and I seen this. This right here. This little feather, this white, brown, I seen that and it was just sitting here. And you know, I started to think like what has white and brown feathers like that? And I really couldn't think of anything. But then I got to looking around a little bit more and I came over here to the side of the house and check this out. First I seen this big white fluffy feather. And then moving on, we got a couple more right here. There's another big old brown and white feather right there and if y'all can see a bunch of little white little specks of feathers all around this side of the house and then a whole bunch up against the house so i've been trying to think like what around here has white and brown feathers and then it dawned on me my neighbors next door yeah they had two chickens they used to have a bunch of chickens but they had a dog that killed a bunch of them because they got loose or something but they were like these orange brownish whitish chickens so i'm guessing that's what these are from also the neighbors not just the neighbors but like all of my neighbors everybody has cats that are outside Hello, kitty. What are you doing? Whoa. Parkour. Jeez. <laughs> what are you doing, kitty? Hey. Hey, listen. Hey. Did you kill the chicken? So, you know, it sucks that the chicken died, but that got me thinking. What killed it? Because, I mean, we're not around woods. We're around a field. Y'all can see, I had strictly fields all the way around my house. There's woods way back there. Can y'all see them chickens up on that hill? <laughs> Look at them chickens over there. They're still alive. <laughs> so, like, if we were surrounded by woods, I would expect, you know, like a coyote or something. Like, I just showed y'all, there was, like, six chickens up on that hill over there. And those, and that's closer to the woods. But, like, if it is a coyote, I need to know because, like, I have Maggie and Charlie. And, like, usually I'm outside with them when they are outside. But, you know, sometimes we like to leave Maggie out here so she can just, you know, run around the yard and stuff. And, you know, sometimes it's early in the morning, late at night. So, you know, it kind of worries me if it is a coyote. Or even the neighbor cat that wants to come over here and rub up against everything. <laughs> like, that ain't even my pet or anything. And I still want I want to see it you know ate by a coyote or something i know raccoons there have been a lot of raccoons around my house lately and it sounds crazy but raccoons will kill chickens like not only will they get like into the coop and like steal the eggs and stuff but like if they are really really hungry they will kill a chicken so really the only two things i can really think of that might have killed this chicken would be one a coyote and coyote is like the main thing i'm thinking of because there's absolutely nothing left there are feathers from where the chicken tried to fight but there are no bones no carcass no actually i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put maggie on her leash and i'm gonna show her these feathers i'm gonna let her sniff these feathers and then we're gonna walk around the house because you know maybe i missed the body maybe maggie can find it but as of right now i cannot find a body that's why i think it is a coyote because usually coyotes they'll kill it and then just take it back to wherever and eat it but raccoons usually like to you know kill it and eat it there and i don't think the raccoons are gonna eat like bones and stuff so yeah let me run in here let me grab maggie i had to put maggie up because the cat she likes it but like she wants to play with it but she wants to play too aggressive with it so the cat gets mad and starts beating her up i need you to use your your, your snoot and find a try to find a dead chicken for me, all right? Look at her, she's just staring at the cat. <laughs> Here's your buddy. Next bed for you. All right, all right, chill. Chasing her. <laughs> come on, man. I know. Come on, let's go. Hey, come here. Look. Look at this. No, you don't eat it. You see it? Look. Sniff it. Don't eat it. <laughs> all right, come on, come on, come on. She already has her nose to the ground right where it happened. Yeah, there's feathers everywhere, but I'm not seeing anything. Maggie's not picking up on anything. We smell. Yeah, she found a bunch more feathers right there. What do you think, Maggie? Nothing? What do you think? Anything? Alright, now I'm taking her to like the line from where my yard in the field meets. Just seeing if we can find anything else, like any sign of maybe like coyote poop, raccoon poop, anything like that. Which I hear hella coyotes at night, but they are always usually at that tree line over there. So I haven't been too worried about them. But like if this chicken died in my yard, that's a little too close for comfort. Maggie, Maggie is a cricket. <laughs> Maggie, come on. And plus, you know, me and Anna, we were talking like maybe next summer 
or next spring if we're still living here we were thinking about getting chickens and like i don't want to get chickens if the environment that they're in is too dangerous for them to live in and you know really the only thing that we could do if we did end up getting chickens and we were still living here we would have to set out traps for raccoons and like coyotes there's only one thing you can really do and that's hunt them and i just don't think i can convince myself to shoot a coyote they look way too much like dogs but you know if it came down to it to like protecting maggie or charlie or even if we ended up getting chickens i would if i had to but yeah i'm gonna walk this property line with maggie see if we find any coyote poop raccoon poop or any signs of anything and if we do i'll let y'all know all right guys about 30 minutes of walking around where my property meets this field looking for anything any signs of anything i could not find any you know coyote poop raccoon poop anything like that but you know i also still didn't find a body to a chicken or anything like that and that tells me that it was most likely a coyote y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments what it possibly could be but you know y'all seen the feathers there was no body to be found but i think i'm leaning towards coyote so you know there's a few things that we could do to know for sure but the one thing would be set out like a trail camera the only problem with that like y'all seen there's just random cats and shit running around my house running around you know my neighbor's house and all these other people's houses so i feel like if we set out a trail camera or something we would be we would just be feeding the neighbor cats but i don't know maybe there's something that we could do or just go ahead and set it out anyways so if y'all would want to see me do that set out cameras and then we can you know we can check the footage and see if we got anything y'all would want to see me do that y'all let me know down in the comments but yeah y'all let me know if y'all like videos like this if y'all like like these type of vlogs where pretty much it's just me walking around my house talking the whole time but you know i walked outside prepared to make a completely different video and ended up finding that and i thought it was interesting i figured some of y'all might like it so if y'all want to see more videos like this hit that like button and like i said y'all let me know if there's any experts watching this let me know down in the comments what y'all think because you know there's not much i can do for a coyote but you know raccoons there's things you can do with raccoons you know you can trap them and then call game wardens and they'll come pick them up and relocate them or do whatever with them so y'all just let me know what y'all want to see me do or maybe i just leave it alone maybe it's just you know a chicken died it sucks that's probably the only thing that will happen but you know you never expect something bad to happen until it does so yeah that is going to be it for today's video like i said y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments what it could be and if y'all like these type of videos just these random you know a day in my life pretty much what i'm gonna do for the rest of the day is walk around look for poop <laughs> and just these you know pick up the camera at random times and just talk to y'all videos so y'all let me know down in the comments thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much peace